Okay guys, so we're right back at it here with Bella and Cash. Um, what we're going to be working on next is their stay. We did introduce the stay yesterday and we started working on it a little bit. So now I'm really hoping to just kind of like increase it and um, hopefully get a little bit more duration and a little bit more distance on there. So I'm just going to back up and go ahead and work this stay. Um, one thing that's really important to remember, especially when you're working with like litter mates or multiple dogs simultaneously is that you have to be consciously aware of all of them at the same time and you want to make sure that you're coming back to reward them before any of them break this break this day not just one of them um i usually don't have to worry about this too much like with my dogs but with the puppies um obviously if you're working multiple at a time and they're not super familiar with the behavior there's a lot more likelihood that they're going to fail so I'm going to move nice and slow, especially at first, so they know what it is they're going to be getting rewarded for, and then hopefully we'll be able to make some bigger jumps towards the end there. But I'm just going to go ahead and back up and start working it with them and show you what it looks like to not only work with um, a dog on their beginning stay, but with multiple dogs in the room at the same time. Come here, you. So another thing that I'm doing when I'm giving them treats is notice I'm not rushing very much. Um, one of the things that Bella and Cash struggle with anyways is patience, so I'm trying to teach them patience. Also notice that once I put them in a sit or something like this, I'm not going to continue cueing them and cueing them and cueing them. I'm just going to leave them there. This is a great way to teach your dog how to settle in a position. Um, and the more that you can disengage from them while they're doing it, the better. Most of the time, the reason why a dog is going to break a position is because they want your attention. Um, so if we're already removing our attention from them and we're teaching them how to just be patient while we do that, they're going to learn that just getting up or breaking that position to seek their attention is not going to work and that if they just stay put, they're going to continue to get rewarded. So this is one of the first things I will do before I even start introducing this day. Because now that they have some nice duration in their sit, the only thing that I'm adding is the cue and then my movement. Stay. Good. Stay. Very nice. Good dogs. Good dogs. Stay. As you can see right there, Bella was thinking about getting up, so I gave her my uh-uh, and I came right back. Stay. Another important thing to remember when you're adding movement to your stay cue is that you don't always want it to be in the same direction, and you want to be able to move anywhere about them freely. The reason for this is that if you're thinking about a stay and situations where you might use a stay, um, the likelihood of you moving in one direction away from them all the time is very, very slim. So just like with all of our other cues, we want to do it in a bunch of different ways, a bunch of different movements, so that they know that they have to stay no matter what. Stay. Good dogs. Okay. All right, guys. So now that we've talked a little bit more about our duration and our sit and we're done stay a little bit, going to go ahead and wrap up this training session for right now, give them a little break, and uh, we'll talk again soon.